Hey everybody. <laughs> so I want to talk about the fan comic collab project. So now I wanted to kind of talk about my ideas, but also wanted to talk about the process, what's going on with it, and uh, kind of explain some things because it's in very, very early stages. Now you guys have seen some of the collab stuff. I'm collabing with Celeste and a friend of hers who's an amazing writer. Uh, so we're both all collabing together on this project. Uh, she, I'll leave her channel linked in the description. She's amazing as an artist and just in general. So she's great to work with. She's a delight. But um, I wanted to talk about the the fan comic, uh, Fallen Ones. So DMC Fallen Ones. You, know, you guys have seen me do some concept art sometimes. Uh, I'm kind of very vague on some stuff. So I'm kind of been working on like concept art, you know, occasionally uh, some concept art for like covers because in my head, you know, this is also her art that I'm kind of tracing occasionally drawing my own stuff. But okay, basically in my head, I see the, the DMC fallen ones as the first book in a series. Like it's like an overarching story, kind of like there's DMC one, DMC three, DMC, the devil may cry, OG series. Only Devil May Cry 3 has like a subtitle of Dante's Awakening. The rest is in numbers. And with our little universe, so to speak, it was my pitch to basically, because they already did like a fan, you know, they wanted to do like they already did in the past. It was like a fan sequel. With my pitch, it was me saying, okay, all these ideas are great. Let's repurpose them. Let's take the canon, not the canon, but the universe of the reboot, and let's twist it. Let's make it our own. Let's make our own lore. Take what, you know, some stuff and kind of twist stuff. Even, like, change the look of things. That was my pitch to them. And with this fan comic, that was, like, the goal from the start, for me, at least is to, to basically not be tied down to everything of the reboot. Like, I, well, I want to have the, the means to, like, where we can establish our own original characters. You know, set up stuff. Not be tied down by the OG reboot game. Because the reboot is up for brabs, or grabs <laughs> anyways. Um... And that's where the lore and the fun comes in. That we can basically twist the lore, so to speak, and have our own little fun. And I already had, and you guys can check it out on stream, where we had a, a little bit of a blast, you know, uh, talking about ideas and kind of, you know, stuff like that with the fan comic. And what my pitch was for it to be, because it was an idea that I was, you know, kind of unsure about and in the original reboot the one of the things that the game was going to do is the game would be taking place in different time periods in this version of Dante's life and the OG series it kind of did that but it's hard to tell how old Dante is in this you can see him 20 younger older and in my head that's a brilliant concept that's amazing, and I feel like that is something we can do and have fun with with this comic, and we can take characters that were established in the reboot, but also twist some stuff, you know, give us, give new characters, you know, put in and establish the lore there, change up things, and, you know, establish our own stuff. That was something that I really wanted to do from the get-go, is that... She, uh, Celeste has a lot of amazing, <laughs> uh, o, uh, OG characters or OC type characters, like original characters for like this story stuff. And there's, there's a lot of amazing ideas I can't disclose that they had with, um, their, you know, stuff and some of the stuff. And I, I, I really liked a lot of them. <laughs> and I always want to incorporate like people's ideas and with my, you know, pitch, 
I want DMC, like our fan comic, to be... Because it's in very early stages. So, like, we're kind of, like, in the writing room stage right now where we're slowly figuring out what we're doing. Like, okay, what each one of us wants a certain thing. We want to try to find a common ground. So, for my audience, like, that's the type of stage we're in right now. <laughs> uh, so, you guys aren't going to be seeing the comic at all uh, until, like, we have a concrete story um, and stuff like that. But I wanted to kind of disclose what my ideas were for the comic and kind of, you know, say, because I don't want to take charge or step on their, you know, stuff either. Uh, they're, they have some amazing ideas. I can't talk about it. I, I can't. Um, because like, you know, I don't want to step on their, you know, toes and I don't want to spoil things if we reuse those ideas later in the comic. Uh, so there's a lot of characters and a lot of stuff that I really like and like, cause we have, you know, the established DMC characters that we already know and stuff like that. You know, Dante, Virgil, and stuff like that. But we have other ones. And the reboot has its own characters that we can take and put a twist on. And that's something that I wanted to do from the get-go. And so for me, having the comic take place, like, have it basically set, basically be a fresh slate. Its own universe, so to speak. Like, it takes place in a, a subsection of the DMC reboot universe. It's like its own DMC reboot universe, so to speak. It's basically, um, you know, you have the reboot t uh, uh, game. You, that universe is over here. This is like another universe of that. <laughs> you know, that's what my idea was. And you have some of the familiar characters from that reboot, but you also have some of familiar characters with a little bit of a twist from the original games that might show up and might not. And there's some stuff that for DMC fans, if you're familiar with the games or if you're not familiar, you might have a twist to, or two. There's characters like Bob Barkett that I, you know, I'm still brainstorming some ideas from the reboot game. How, you know, the, there's some cool little ideas that I had for him and like how he goes from point A to point B and stuff like that. You know, my main thing with the game, uh, these, the comic series is I wanted it to be uh, an overwhelming, like not overwhelming, but basically a one book is the origin of everything, how it got to, you know, you know, basically gives Dante his first arc. Kind of like how DMC 3, even though it's the third game in the series, it's the prequel. DMC 1 is like his first true arc. DMC 2, we don't even know what the fuck the arc was. <laughs> so, it, like, it's kind of like that in my head. So what I wanted the this this comic series to kind of take aspects of what was forgot like the different elements of the reboot that really didn't get a chance to really flesh that out and we can take that you know like this comic series takes place of different like places in Dante's life so book one is the prequel uh, book two is like our DMC one so to speak and you know so on and so forth and you will have familiar villains you'll have new villains and you'll have different enemies and different stuff and different characters and funny little dynamics and all that that was really what my pitch was and um so we're we're still figuring it out it's a really great fun collab that you guys for my audience and for hers if they you know stumble across you know, this video, uh, she is amazing. Celeste is, you know, Gregory, you're amazing too, you know, writer wise and everything else wise. So it's great working with these, you know, amazing people. We all share something in common when it comes to Devil May Cry. We have a love for the series and we want to try to do, you know, a comic that really isn't as much fan, you know, fan fiction as it is like its own, it puts a great spin on things. It's the way five years later is. It's mature, but it also has 
stories that complex and stuff that you can find relatable but you also can you know see cool you know visuals and all that stuff where it doesn't you know completely spit in your face and act like you're dumb but also still you know has like it still feels like devil may cry but a unique version of it and that's kind of what the pitch was for me um there's a lot of things that I feel like we can do. Like they, there's a lot of like little subtitles that we're still brainstorming. Like I, I honestly want like arc of the, like, uh, uh, you know, the fallen ones to be the, the first book. Like that is the prequel novel. Like we're basically establishing the lore. We're building stuff up. And then we get to arc of the fallen, which was Gregory's idea. Um, I can't say anything more than that. Um, he's a great writer, so he like we're we're still figuring stuff out. We're in the writing room stage, but um, I thought I'd give you guys just a little bit of a taste where I talk about it, and we can just I can just say hey, <laughs> we're brainstorming, we're we're coming up with stuff. We I can't talk about anything uh, because like I want to keep it close to the chest and stuff like that so sometimes you'll see some snippets of concept art on the channel sometimes uh but we're not i'm not going to be posting everything uh all the time uh because we're still in the we're in the we're in the early stages so uh we're figuring stuff out we're, we're brainstorming we're, we're writing <laughs> and then we're we'll get to the concept art stage and then when the comic is ready and when we can show it off and we can like put out the pages, uh, we will, uh, we're still figuring some of this stuff out. So hopefully you guys can support the channel, uh, and support, you know, what, like, I hope you guys are excited for it. Even look forward to reading it yourselves. And, uh, also, um, let me know in the comments down below. What would you like? What is your opinions on stuff? What do you want to like just anything? Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give you guys an update. Uh, links in the description for their stuff and all that. So, yeah. Bye-bye.